Welcome to the video on finding a missing hypotenuse in a right triangle. In this problem, we are asked to find the missing side of a right triangle, and we are given the two other sides. So here I have six centimeters, here I have eight centimeters. Uh, these are the legs of the triangle. The hypotenuse is what is missing, and we can identify the hypotenuse uh, because it is always opposite the right angle. So here we have the hypotenuse. And to solve this problem, today we're going to use something called the Pythagorean Theorem. And the Pythagorean Theorem states that if we have a right triangle and whose legs are A and B, okay, so A and B are the legs, and whose hypotenuse is C, so remember the hypotenuse is always the opposite side of the right angle, then there exists a relationship, and that relationship is the A squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So this is the rela a relationship between the sides of a right triangle. So we can use this relationship to help find the missing side here. In this case, c, the hypotenuse. So here we're going to be looking for c. It's very important in the Pythagorean theorem here. c is the hypotenuse. To begin, we're going to call this a. We're going to call this b. And these are interchangeable because these are the legs, both A and B are the legs. We could call uh, uh, 6 centimeters A and 8 centimeters B, or we could have uh, called this B if we wanted to. We could call this B and this A. That doesn't matter. But what does matter is that the hypotenuse is always C and it's always opposite the right angle. Okay? So here, let's just go back to how we originally had that labeled. We're going to call this A, we're going to call this B, and that means that 6 squared plus 8 squared sh should be equal to C squared, according to our Pythagorean theorem, the Pythagorean relationship. So what is 6 squared? Well, 6 squared is 36. And if you didn't know that, you can always pull out your scientific calculator. Let's pull out a calculator here, and you can just do 6 in... Scientific calculators, most of them have a little x squared button. So when you square the, the number that you've inputted, there you go. That's 6 squared. That's 36. We can do the same thing for 8. And we'll find out that it's 64. And that's equal to c squared. So what is 36 plus 64? 36 plus 64 is 100. So 100 is equal to c squared. Now many students think that they're done here. Uh, and that would be a mistake. We're not actually done yet. What we've done is we've solved for c squared. We haven't solved for c. What we're looking for is c. If you notice the Pythagorean relationship, a, b, and c are the sides of the triangle. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared is the theorem. We're not looking for c squared, though. We're looking for c. So in order to find c, we're going to have to take the square root of both sides. Opposite operation of a square is the square root. So we take the square root of 100. I'm going to take the square root of c squared. And I take the square root of c squared. That cancels out the squaring of c, and we're just left with c. The square root of 100 is 10. Now, if you didn't know that, we could use our scientific calculator as well. I simply plug in 100 and take the square root. There you go. The square root of 100 is 10. Now, we're not quite done. This isn't our final answer because if we go back to the problem and we look at the problem, we had units in our problem. So when we were doing the calculations, we left the units out. But when we're giving our final answer, we need to make sure that we're including the units. The length of that side is therefore 10 centimeters. Okay, so that would be our final answer. All right, let's try one more. So the same thing here, we're going to find the missing side of a right triangle. It happens to be the hypotenuse that's missing. So that is C in our relationship. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If I plug in the numbers that are given, I have 3 squared plus 9 squared is equal to C squared. 3 squared is 9, 9 squared is 81, so that's going to be equal to C 
squared. And you can confirm those calculations on your calculator. 9 plus 81 is 90. So 90 is equal to c squared. And I don't know what the square root of 90 is. I do know that the square root of 81 is 9, and I know that the square root of 100 is 10, so I know that my answer must be somewhere between 9 and 10. But I'm going to have to use a calculator here to give me an accurate approximation. So we're going to plug in 90, and, and then we're going to take the square root. And it's telling me that it's 9.486. and It just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. And we're asked to round this to the nearest tenth, which means C is going to be 9.5. So here, I just, C is equal to 9.5. So the square root of both sides. So our final answer is going to be 9.5 inches because inches was the length that was given in our original problem.